Hey, um, in my backyard behind my house, trying to dodge the lawnmower noises. But uh, I made a hobo stove, it's the top. Um, I'm gonna modify it the best I could. Um, it's kind of a four dog stove guy, he mentioned something. Don't load it from the bottom the whole bit. And there's every, you know, Mr. West and, and uh, James from Waypoint. They're making all kinds of stoves. So I'm just trying this little thing. I So I have a, a plate in there that has holes in it and have some um, hangers in there. And uh, I'm going to try it out. And um, I may modify it if I need it. If I have to put more holes up here. Um, we're going to test it out. And I got these little uh, fire plugs like this. Uh, they're given to me by a uh, gift uh, by my son-in-law. So that's what I'm going to do here. I'm going to try it out and then have a little uh, special tea. What do they call it? Uh, Golden Tipped English Breakfast by Twinnings. So, I'm gonna have that, and then with the uh, Helma Joy left over from uh, Halloween, and then some other little bar here. But uh, yeah, so I'm just gonna break this up and uh, get this going, and uh, I'll put this on top to get a little space. But um, yeah, we'll get this going, and uh, we'll test it out, see what happens, man. Let's see if I can light this up. There it goes. Um, get this puppy going. Throw that in there. Take a while to get it going, but uh, oops, prime piece of stuff there. I'll let it get going a little bit and uh, see how it goes. Let's carry a lighter with me, too. Um, this is one of Nathan's fair rods, and I got some. Uh, duct tape on there and then there's another small one I carry some cordage in there I also carry a uh, p38 in case I'm in New York City or something and uh, I have to liberate some canned goods take a canoe off the Hudson River go over on the west side over there or maybe go down the east side and go up Long Island South Anyways, um, yeah, a little rod came with money, uh, one of my knives too. Spare key, a little stone for sharpening, burnishing too. Fat wood, chapstick for uh, fires or medicinal things. Cotton, a little light. Um, what else we got here? Swiss Army knife, I showed you that. But uh, some bank line, bunch of stuff anyway. So, looks like it's starting to go good. I'm gonna build it up. Didn't take too long. Nice fall day. Most of the leaves are down. Uh, last three days have been pretty cold or cool. It's like, well, oh, in the 20s in the morning and Forties during the day. So let's see here. I don't know what that is. It's kind of not. Well, I'll let that go like that for now. Let it burn down a little bit, and then I'll uh, get back to. You. I got this. Uh, this is a new cup. Yes, my cups are dirty. 
This one's not because it's brand spanking new. Got this at Walmart. And uh, I actually went there today for the second time because they had uh, Mountain House beef stroganoff two serving meals for five bucks. Snap them puppies off. Expiration date was like 2051. See that? So, in this case, I, you know, I wouldn't let this burn down. The real deal. I got heat coming now. So, let's see how it works out. If I have to put more stuff in, I'll just take this off. Don't care if it gets dirty. <clears throat> smoking now so is it getting enough air um, it's hard to smoke like that but um, it's not a it's not a wood gas uh, setup not meant to be that way um, I could make some slits here to get more here but if it's burning down it, it, it'll get better yeah it's, it's still coming up a little bit or I can thicken my uh, holder there and because uh, you need space yeah so if I lift that up then she's clean see so I may mo modify the top, get a little more space for the pot. And it's a little slippery on that. To be careful with that. Um, I, I can't put my, my twinnings trivets on there, but if I had a nice trivet that, had, that could give me a lot of air, that might work. You have to be careful these things don't slide off. But uh, there's about 500 mLs of uh, water in there. But it looks like it's burning actually very good. Smoke is still a little strong. But if I had a bigger spacer in there, which I think that's what I'll do. I could do one of two things. I can either make it higher up here. So the flame... Ooh, so there's less smoke and it burns better see so, you know like there's less smoke it's like that you see and there's no no smoke at all which is good I have to be able to cook on it so. but uh, I see bubbles in the bottom already <coughs> and this water was cold because it was in the fridge but um, and the little pieces of wood that I have to put in there are pieces from my uh, working on stuff, you know, like uh, carving and cups and things like that. So now, now the the smoke is gone. It's burning. I don't have a top on there, um, but we'll see what happens. This is an Ozark. Um, full tang knife it throws, It's great uh, for 90 degree and I've used it quite a bit Paid it's dirt cheap um, I've done some reviews on it. it's really good and this is just a camelus sheath I have an Eldris which is a great neck knife and um, I have a hand, uh, handmade one antler from Alaska more like a uh, patch knife or a uh, yeah, use this patch knife or a neck knife. Uh, that's one of my favorite. That's going really good right now. I'm going to stick something else in there. This one has a knot. And I'm able to grab this handle pretty good. Let's uh, put some stuff in there. Yeah, not bad. So I'm, I'm pretty happy with it. Um, but I'll give it some more space. Now, if you want it to burn more, you know, wood pellets in here, you have to give it more air to come through and, and a lot of headspace. Um, 
I may do a video soon and show you some of my old videos using the uh, Esbit type stoves, Esbit and Esbit type stoves um, at my old Hobo camp and uh, that's pretty cool. So we're gonna have some tea and you know, I mean that's, it's almost boiling now already, so that's pretty good, you know. I can reduce the smoke though if I uh, put more space in there. But um, and again, when you're doing this and you got a little tag on your teeth, take this off because you start a fire. Just burn it right in there. Drop in there. So, what do you think I am, man? Hey, eh? look at me. It's a silk bag, man. Silk bag. Think I'm messing around? Come on. Hey. Look at that. Let's throw this in there. There you go. Now, you think I have a spoon on me? I make spoons, forks, cups a little bit. Where I get a couple cups in there. But, um, recently. This week. But, uh, no. Just use this nice clean piece of wood and kind of dip it down a little bit. And uh there you good man. So yeah, it's burning pretty good now. It's pretty clean right now. And I'm kind of happy with it. Um but I think I will increase the space here. You know, I can open this up more here if I want to, but uh I may or may not do that. So my cup doesn't look like a pilgrim's cup now anymore. It's all nice and dirty. I tell you, you know. So now they're starting to cut the lawn again. So I'll get back to you. Tea's almost ready. Well, this is ready now. It's it's boiling. Too bad. And uh, I'll put another piece of wood in there. Maybe a couple pieces since I'm uh, done. But not, not bad, it's pretty efficient. Um, yeah, I'll just make something there. And I, and I wanted to burn it out to uh, you know, any residual stuff on there in the in the pan itself you know it's fine but see look at my uh, cup now my seasoned cup you see I'm glad you have have you along here but I'm gonna uh should be pretty good yeah it's a beautiful fall day most of the leaves are down um yeah I have a little plate in there with some smaller holes in it. I can increase that too. But it's pretty efficient. You can get, warm your hands up and, and it's fine. It seems to be pretty good. So I'm, I'm happy with it. Then we'll just do, make a couple modifications to it. Uh, yeah. I don't know if this will fit in there. I guess it will. Yeah, so. Um, I highly recommend to have a hobo stove or like a, you know, uh, a wood gas stove or any type of stove out there when you're out there um, that burns anything and you can modify it, you can actually put an alcohol stove in there too, so um, I, do, I recommend you do have that. Um, and then the, the gas stoves, of course, for backpacking, you know, they'll heat the water up right away, um, have that too. Um, so yeah, it's looking good. So let's have some, uh, I got hot lips. You know, the things you put on here. Um, but that's down in the cellar, I'm like, not getting that right now.
but this isn't bad. Just some advice, never use aluminum, you burn your mouth out in two seconds. Um, besides, it's, they say it's not good for you at that time. Yeah, it'll burn your mouth out. But a canteen cup or stainless steel like this is fine. Man. Mm. That's good. So let's, let's have the almond joy first. And I'm just gonna burn this crap up. There you go. Mm. Ooh. So I'll be going up to hunting camp soon. I made two loaves of Irish soda bread today. And that's for up there at camp. This is throwing some really good heat right now, man. Real good. So, I saw a video one time. There's a guy over in Eastern uh, Europe. Went up with his dog, had his bike. Dirt bike. It's up his tarp. It's up his tent. Rained all weekend. And had this nice stove. You know, the, a, a good stove. And had it there. He kept that going all the time with just a small amount of wood. And that was just fantastic. You didn't have to go out looking for wood all the time because he kept the wood under the tarp. The tarp was high enough. Nice fire, kept warm, cooked his food. Got to prepare for that. So. That's good, man. We drink a lot of tea in the morning. I drink the coffee. Oh, one big one in the morning. Then we drink tea. So this is like a low tea. And uh, yeah, it's good, man. Mmm. Very nice. Oh yeah. Well, that's burning hot, man. I'm happy with it. A couple of slight modifications make it even better. Little impact on blood sugar. I don't know what that was. Good measure. That's a brand. I don't have any blood sugar problems. My A1C is like five. Five, five and a half all the time. But that's from really good heat. Burning good. Now, my thing over here, I have a simple theory stove. They don't make them anymore. They're excellent. And I have a plate that goes in there so you can slow the burning down, increase the burning. That's a really good stove. I'll get back and I'll show you. These they don't make anymore. Simple theory gear. Stove. I've used it here before in videos. Excellent stove. Put your stuff on top. Uh, you can burn alcohol stuff in there. I put my own plate in there to slow the burning down. Um, they, they did sell them, but they went out of business before I got it. Mm. And this is extremely solid. It's not lightweight very well done. And on the bottom, you look on the bottom, this just opens up. And here's your plate. And this goes on top. So now you got that, like that. So you can put smaller pots on that. In fact, I'll take this bloody thing and put it on here. This is happening right now, real time. So, we got my glove here. 
I didn't plan this. Gives me some ideas though. Ooh. Put this uh, plate, it's raised up a little bit there. Put it on here. So, that might solve our problem. That get going more. It was very hot. Let's go. I'm just sitting here, not using it right now. But for the hole and stuff, that would solve the height issue. Be ah, you son of a dirty. I gotta watch the cussing now. Most. Throw my hand off, man. From that little bar that was on there. Hmm. So you saw this happen. I went to show you this, and I said, "Well, gee, that little thing on the bottom." Well, I can even make one like that one. That's heavy as nice. All right, the fire's good. Let's see. I think it's much better as far as the height goes. Um, what I like about it, it's very stable compared to the uh, tumbler bar I had on there. So I'm going to do one of two things, or two things. It was just for this stuff. Also, maybe I'll make something from the top. There. I remember I just put some fresh pieces in there. Much, much more stable. That's very beautiful. Very nice airflow. Those great heat. Good. What I like about that piece that I just put on, and the cup's not going to slide, it just, it's on there good. So, now this bar here, good measure, it's okay, but you know, it's not real sweet. You know, I guess it's not supposed to be sweet. It's good enough, but I do have some Costco Kirkland Costco protein bars and uh, Nature Valley I like too. Well, I'm not gonna put it on now because I just tested it. Yeah, very, very stable. As far as the pot goes. That's the key. I'll up maybe make some plates like that for some of us. I have several containers to love for making homeless stuff. And some I'll make like a you know like a solo stove type thing or a bush buddy. Um, by the wood gas stove, so. but this is quite good. Small place needs some heat to cook. All right, I, I've been wanting to try it out. So. There you go, man. So. I have video of the out the wood lot, um, making stuff on the side of the house. My old wolf knife, trying that out, scanning right. Um, some other stuff. I've 
other stuff I do that I don't show here. But, uh, yeah, pretty good. Not bad. So it's Queen S. Malfair Rod. We're trying out the hobo stuff together. Made a critical change with you. Just because I grabbed that. That's the way to go. Because a little overhang here. And your raised points there. That's the way to go. And I will take this and it, I'll put it back with this. It locks right back into the bottom here. And if I take this out sometime, I'll, uh, I can use that. I have several variations and stoves and things uh, out there, but I wanted to try this little hobo stove. And I mean, it's draw a heat. We'll see how it goes, how it burns down. As my father used to say, it's a spot, man. So, anyway, so, uh, when you ask my fair ride, peace, freedom, keep your eyes in the sky. So, be right. Be nice. Be nice and be prepared, always. Take care.